I'm going to give you an update today on the food plot I planted about a week, a little over a week ago. I'm going to call it eight, nine days ago. And I want to show you some things that are happening around the farm. Now some of this stuff you can't make up. <clears throat> Come out to the coop to get some eggs. And I've never seen this before. I'm sure somebody else has, but I haven't. So, you know, you just come over and you open up dig. But You ever seen a marble egg? Check this out. Leghorn did that. Little teeny weeny marble egg. So there you go. So there you go. Yep. Got the brown eggs, got the white eggs, and got the marble eggs. Now, I am taking volunteers for um i've got a dead tree here in the yard and all summer and really spring and even last winter i was talking about taking it down but you can see here it's fallen across onto the coop so taking volunteers uh for uh taking the blame since it's 2019 and we're you know living in a blaming society if uh you want to take the blame for it for this fallen on my coop um go ahead and leave a comment below and I'll give it to you. I'm thinking Ralph's trucking, his channel. He might want to take the blame for this, but I'm not 100% sold on that idea yet. But this is what's happened. But check this out too over here. Just some happenings. Got this pear tree, and actually I planted three of them several years ago. And when I say several, I'm talking probably three, maybe four years, five on the onset. Now, this tall pear tree, that's a kefir. Those are what you would refer to as canning pears. I believe that's called a moonlight. And then this is your Bartlett. Now, the thing about this tree here, it's, I don't know, about as big around as my finger. But it spit out some, some uh, pears. It definitely spit out pears. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one like this. And mind you, oh, one just fell. And the one that I'm going to eat just fell too. I'm going to take a bite of that sucker. I'm going to polish it on my shirt. But, uh, no, it blew my mind when this thing... It didn't blow my mind when it blossomed. But it blew my mind when it actually produced pears. To the point I had to pick some of them. And you can see some of them cracked. We got so much water this year. We're actually 25 inches above normal precipitation for northwest Pennsylvania. And I would say that probably extends down into... A lot of Western PA, so. Oh my lord. That is fantastic. That right there. <clears throat> That's a mukbang, Sally. Yes, sir. Mm mm mm. Mm. You ever gonna plant pear trees? Get you some Bartlett's. Now, it takes two pear trees, one to pollinate, and I'll tell you what, I'm not a professional pear grower or whatever, but they tell you when you plant another pear tree to pollinate the Bartlett, make sure it ain't a kefir. <laughs> That's a kefir. So I found out, figured that out after the fact, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out here, I don't know, 20 feet and plant a tree about right here split the difference and just triangulate it and have a tree here and then do the same over there and that way i have a little pear cove and they can pollinate each other and do whatever it is that they want to do but that tree right there has got to be oh i don't know i was a pole vaulter in high school and i'll tell you that's all at 20 feet i wouldn't want to have to try to vault that um needs needs trimmed now's not the time of year to do that you know, November through about March, I'll whack them, first part of March. Um, any branches that are looking like they're going to run into another branch, I'll hit. But, yeah, I just wanted to show you this. And, you know, I probably pulled, I don't know, six or seven pairs off of this already. And, uh, boy, are they fantastic. And, again, that's a Bartlett. Yep, and I still got the 18434 tires sitting on the trailer. Now I'll walk over here and we'll take a look-see at how that food plot's doing. 
So you can see, and I don't know if you can see on film or not. Film is a old school term, of course, but yeah, I'm getting, I have plants. You can see the rows, I'll zoom in. Zoom in and there's the rows. Uh, uh, nine days, we're at the nine day mark. Sunday we got one inch of rain. Uh, drained well. The one thing I will tell you is about a soybean for people that don't know, like for example, this is a healthy plant. Okay, that's gonna be the V2 stage. Um, and it has the first leaf coming out of it. Now these are called the cotyledons and that's the power pack of the plant. That's where it gets its energy. What happens is sometimes you have, let me find one. Of course now I won't be able to. But anyways, I can show you just with this one here. A lot of times the deer or the woodchucks will come and they'll bite below these cotyledons and it, the plant's done. If they leave at least one, it'll survive. So, but yeah, we're doing good. I'm hoping to get to, you know, V4, V5 before hunting season and show you what a soybean food plot can do. Now, I'll zoom in again. Over there you can see, at least I can see from here, how much more green it is. And that's because I hit it about, I don't know, five or six times turning around. And I didn't pick up because I didn't care to. It's just a food plot. So it looks really good to me for day nine. We got leaf, leafy material coming out of the plant. Despite the fact that some of them are bit below the cotyledons, I don't care. It's going to turn out well. I know it will. I will come in and spray this in about a week, and then I'll probably over overseed it with uh, like a clover or a chicory. And what that'll do, that'll bring up clover and chicory first kick of the pig in the spring. So, yep, looking good and feeling good. And if you don't believe this is working and uh, Still ain't sold on it. Check this out. Unbelievable. He's out there eating them new shoots on the food plot. And it is 6.42 a.m. Labor Day morning. Wish he'd look this way. He ain't got a care in the world. load damn he's just biting them little shoots right off that's not good but the fact that he's hot and heavy on this food plot is good. <laughs> 